boat. Ah. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Sky. What it do, boy? I lurked in your guys' Dark Souls stream for as long as I could. I was stuck at work. I was so sad. Uh, how you doing, man? How's your night going? Yeah, you beat it. Yes, you did. So what did you think of, of base game's final boss, huh? And what do you think about how close you were to finishing it? <laughs> You have the wrong head. No, there's no way. Oh my God, I have. I had the wrong. I've, I've been real bad about that lately. Just smack my old self. You were right there, man. You were two bosses away, assuming you did everything with Vendrick. Bop, bop, bop. All right. Still like the others more though. Yeah, it's a great game. It's just it's drastically different than the others, and in some ways it's better, and in a lot of ways it's not. But hello, everybody. Hi, Sunvi. Hi, Sky. I should just hire you, Sunvi. I'll start letting you out of the jar. And you can change my hashtags for me on my streams. How's that sound? All right. Keep giving people a moment to show up. I took a nap. I did not plan to. She's gonna be my manager? Sure, let's go with that. But, um, I got off work. I worked an early day today, just like I worked an early day yesterday. I felt pretty good after work. It wasn't too bad. Hey, Katie. Hey, buddy, what's up? Katie's inside. Well, today I got home and I was like, hmm. <laughs> it's knocked the fuck out. <laughs> I, I had a little bit of a headache. I was like, hmm, hmm, bed, bed, <laughs> laid down, fell asleep, slept for a couple of hours, woke up, remembered I bought Arby's before going home yesterday or today after work. And I have a, a, a double roast beef and cheese, roast beef and cheddar sandwich. Mmm, cheesy. I forgot to ask them to give me more Arby sauce though. I, li I like my Arby's roast beefs fucking drowning in Arby sauce. Also, I'm gonna have to take my car in. And I have, I, I need new brake pads. I need new brake pads. My brake pads are starting to wear down pretty bad. Okay, I'll, I'll respect your privacy. As long as you keep my hashtags up constantly, I will respect your privacy, Sunway. That is my <laughs> my price. Whoa. But tonight we're finishing Dark Souls 1. And then tomorrow we're starting Dark Souls 2. We honestly don't have that much to do in Dark Souls 1 yet. We cleared through so much yesterday. We... We cleared through so fucking much. We beat Nito, Isolith, and Safe, and the whole DLC. So, and Sif. 
So really all that we have left is uh, the four kings. We could go back and fight the gaping dragon and we could fight Priscilla and I want to fight the Hellkite Drake in the Undead Burg. <laughs> you was cooking. True. I was cooking. If I didn't have to work early this morning, I would have finished the game last night. Because, well, I love Dark Souls 1. And I want to keep playing it for as long as I possibly can. We've already done a Dark Souls 1 playthrough on this channel. We did it a year ago. And I'm doing it again to keep the series consistent. Especially since last time I was in a really, really bad place. So a lot of that old stream is me venting and talking and honestly crying a lot. So I was like, I'll play the game again. So we're blasting through it in three streams. Also, we found out at the end of stream yesterday, I have not been playing the remastered version of Dark Souls. I've been playing the original, Prepare to Die edition, which explains all the jank. It explains the slip and slide floors. It explains the wonky hitboxes on a few of the bosses' attacks, especially Calamite's lunge was super busted. It explains the random weird double hit reg. I was thinking it looked different. I was too. I just didn't think anything about it. I'd load into the game and I'd run around and I'd be like, hey, this doesn't look that updated. This looks like it did back on, back on the PlayStation. Oh well. <laughs> So, well, we're not going to do a third playthrough right now. I do want to play the remastered version fully. So, we are going to do a remastered Dark Souls speed run at a later date for fun. A one setting, full game clear, speed run style. That'll be fun. But today is the last day of kind of half rushing soul stuff. I have not been slowly, methodically clearing everything in this game. I've been kind of speedrunning it because we've already done a playthrough, like I said. So, hi Iggy. So today, we're going to finish things up. We're going to finish off all the bosses. We're going to wrap it up. And then tomorrow we will start Dark Souls 2, which is definitely going to be a longer series of streams. That game is very long. And we are going to be completionist completionisting it, which means we will be doing all of the DLC and getting the true ending. So that will be fun and potentially very annoying, but fun. Hold on, where is my... What the fuck? I had a sneeze. <coughs> Yowzers. I had a new drink. I got sun-kissed berry lemonade. Blueberry lemonade. And that's how the FromSoft boy completely forgot the other games he was playing. We're on a timer, Sunray. I have to... I actually am on a timer now. I just kind of realized I got two months. Two months to play through all of Dark Souls 2, all of Dark Souls 3, the Demon Souls remaster, Bloodborne, and potentially try to get the true ending of Sekiro. Yep, we gotta get it all done and do a full Elden Ring playthrough on stream. We gotta do it all before the Elden Ring expansion comes out. Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 each are like 44 hour long games if you're kind of keeping your pace up. Which means they're gonna be like six streams each. Six, seven streams each. And that's just the remaining two Dark Souls games. We've got the Demon Souls remake, we've got Bloodborne, we've got a full Elden Ring playthrough, which can be over 70 hours of gameplay. Like, there's a lot we gotta do. That's why we're kind of Slamming on the gas a little bit. <laughs> oh, 
All right, Kitty ate his food. He's good. Cool. All right, let's get the game started. We'll get started on getting started here. Chunky baby. He has actually... He's been losing weight. He's still chunky. But his skin is very loose. <laughs> he is a he is a former fat boy. Mm-hmm, he is saggy. He was he was loafing out on the desk or the desk, the deck when I first got home. And he is he is no longer just a solid block. He's a saggy block, like a, a pile. <laughs> and he was looking at me and his pupils were all tiny and his eyes were mostly closed and his face looked all dirty because he was probably rolling in dirt and he was just loafing. And I walked up and I poked his belly and he looked at me like I'm a monster and then I went inside and he stayed outside and I had a good time. A certified cat moment if there ever was one. But today at work wasn't too bad. It was a little busy, but I honestly had an all right day. I'm coming home. I, I took a nap, ate some food, had a pretty all right day today. We're gonna wrap it up with some good old dank souls. Duke Seuss. I don't work tomorrow, so we can play as late as we need. We probably won't need to play very late. Boop. Boop. Bam, bam, bop. Two month from marathon, huh? That's what it's gonna be. We've been at it for over a week now. I guess doesn't today mark one month? Or er, one month. One week since we started Demon Souls, because we did four Demon Souls streams and three Dark Souls streams, right? That's seven days. Or did we do an Arc Knight stream in the middle of all that? I don't remember. Ugh. Alrighty. Ugh. So, first loose end I want to do. Where is the sunlight altar? There we go. We're going to kill a dragon. Dragons are really important and rare in the Dark Souls series. Except Dark Souls 2, where they're just fucking everywhere and are not special. But in Dark Souls 1 and 3, dragons are really, really special. Even, even, like, lesser dragons, like the Drake. So let's summon him. Mr. Dragon. Dragon. Ming shot. Fuck this guy in particular. Cool. I love the god rays over here. It's so fucking pretty. Mm -hmm. 
Undead Berg. Place we meet Solaire. Ah. My eyes are kind of bugging out a little bit. I love the sound design in this game, man. I never realized just how good the wind sounds in areas like this. I'm trying to summon the dragon. Do you more sleep still? Ho, oh, someone knocked me out. Can't take this no more. Maybe if I come up from below. Maybe he does really just fuck off. I bring milk and cookie. Well, thank you for milk and cookie, Bob. How you doing, man? We will also, since we kind of rushed to the game, I will go over a short recap of everything because it's really going to matter and have a lot of context once we get to Dark Souls 3. You guys have no idea. Dark Souls 3 is the sequel Dark Souls 2 wishes it could have been. Where's the fucking dragon? What the hell? Do I have any homeward bonds? I do. Let's warp somewhere far away. And then homeward bone back. I got staggered, but didn't take damage. That was wonky. There you go, I got that guy killed. All right, we just gotta get him to come down. Come down, you jerk. Come on. I'm gonna kill your bitch ass. Got the sword. Drink. You missed. Got him. Yeah. We cut the dragon's tail off, we got the goofy ass drake sword. Look at this thing, look what it does. Yippee! All the dragon swords get some sort of cool ass ranged attack in this game. Ah, uh, I can't show you the giant dragon swords one because I can't wield it. Me not strong enough. Me weak. Me small. That sword helped you so much the first time you played. Same here, except it didn't. So I think I've said this story before. When I first played through Dark Souls 1, uh, down at the Undead Berg, before fighting the Taurus Demon, I summoned somebody. Because I saw a summon sign. I'm like, oh, I'll summon someone. Sure. Why not? Why not? We should be fine, right? This this will be cool. I summoned the dude. And he dropped me a plus five chaos Uchi Katana and a plus five lightning Uchi Katana. So I had two maxed out different damage stat Uchi Katanas. And then he just gave me a wave and then left. 
He didn't even clear the level with me. He just gave me two extremely strong Uchi Katanas and left. So my first playthrough had to do with the Uchi Katana. But I did shoot the dragon's tail off with the longbow and mess around with that sword. All right, so we did that. Now let's go do the gaping dragon. It's actually right here. I don't even have to go anywhere for that. I have to be human though. Because I want Knight Kirk of Thorns. Kirk Knight of Thorns. Why the fuck did I say it backwards? To invade me, because I want his armor and I want his humanity. Funk. But yes, you heard me right. Gaping dragon. We're gonna kill all the bosses because why not? We killed a big boy dragon. I love my sexy thief ladies in the undead burg. Where the fuck did you come from, my guy? Bro came from downtown. What the hell? Seven gaping dragons. I love how often that, that fucking meme gets brought up. But eight legs! Seven Vajanyas. There's a man in there. Oh, Ducky. It's so funny seeing you in this area after Seath and all the DLC. Yeah, my clears are usually a little unorthodox. I always speed run to Priscilla as fast as possible because I, I, I love my wife. And then I almost never, I never go through Blight Town the normal way because I start every single playthrough with the Master Key. And the Master Key lets me go through the New Londo Beck route to get to Blight Town and fight Quaylock. There's no fight, there's no reason for me to clear through this area and then go through Blight Town normally and, and suffer when I can just skip to the end of Blight Town immediately. aim myself as I'm falling. Also, something kind of funny. I watched a, another Dark Souls 1 dissected video. These base undead in the edition of Dark Souls that we're playing right now with that running stagger attack right there. Yeah, it's glitched. It is. It actually is. These guys cheat. They have way too much poise damage and you can't stagger them out of it. They actually cheat. I wasn't joking earlier when I said that. Hmm. A lot of this is probably human. Long, long, long. Meeting I was told we are going to be buying a new steamer. Baskets and smoke related to your smoke drapes are no longer a dream. Nice. You are what you eat. There's so many jokes I could make. Like, he staggered me out of that attack. He shouldn't have. That's a glitched interaction. Alright, that guy's still dead. 
So it was kind of nice having my ranch be completely validated as the game being non-functional. And me being completely in the right. And having to deal with being punished by a broken system that is not functioning the way that it's intended to. Goopy, you missed. Also, when you said that you're a fish, I just I, I thought of the South Park Kanye gay fish meme. Gay fish, y'all. Motherfucking gay fish. Making love to all the gay fish. I've been so lonely out in the grocery store In the frozen fish aisle feeling like a whore Rats! Holy shit guys, rats! They're all dead. I killed them all. I gotta go this way because I need Kirk to invade me. Ow. Big rat. Big rat. You guys ready for the big rap fight? This is technically a mini boss. Oh. That didn't lead to the big rat. Ah, uh, I didn't get the channel, just tried on. Where's the big rat at? I'm sorry. Stop perma staggering me, you fucking rodents. Nom 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 nom. Give me that humanity. Rat. 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 All right, now we're at Big Rat. Okay, Rat. Rat. Just finished my tournament tournament run on Guilty Gear. Got top three. Ah, man. That's still really good, dude. Good shit. Better than I do. Lord knows I'm unpracticed. There's a ladder here. Isn't there? Ah. Hi, Keg. It's time to slip and slide. Whee! Alright, where's the Knight of Thorns, huh?
No petrifying me today. the evil eye. Evil, 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 evil. Evil. Any more loot over here or did I get everything? That's a hole. Fell. That's nice, Spawn. I'm, I'm happy for you. Congratulations, you're truly blessed. Made it. Yay! Alright. I do think people over panic when dealing with the basilisks. It's not that hard to just not stand in the the, the smoke. Rat. Rat. All right, night, Kirk. The last fight against Kirk. And it's over. Alright, now he can go get his armor outside of the Daughter of Chaos Bonfire. I will say this much as well. I like how Kirk was here. This is technically the first place you're supposed to fight Kirk. Yeah, he was he was farming humanity, true. Because this is technically where you're supposed to go before going to Blight Town and meeting the Spider Lady. Technically. This is where you're supposed to go first. I just never go this way first because I always bring the Master Key. That's another thing that Dark Souls 2 just doesn't do as good as Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3. The NPC stories. Quelag. Like, the NPCs are alright. It's just... There's so much more nuance and weight to the characters in Dark Souls 1 than in Dark Souls 2, at least in my opinion. Almost all the NPCs have pretty heavy, important shit. Like, fucking Knight Kirk. You never even meet him. Ever. He invades you three times, and you find out lore retrospectively, and you go, damn, man. That guy was a fucking top G. I can't believe he's gone. Pour one out. Alright. Give me a moment. I'm gonna take a bite of my sandwich. I'm filling his dark soul with light. <laughs> I'm eating. You can't make me laugh like they're gonna spit it everywhere. Come on, Solaire. For old time's sake. Me and Solaire right now were the two really muscular dudes shaking hands on, on that gift. <laughs> you son of a bitch.
I used to be really scared of this boss as a kid. He's a big bitch. I'd always get nervous fighting him. <laughs> Women are scary, what can I say? Solaire, no! He's gonna get bored. Smack that goofy little head. Look at how he jiggles around. All right, Solaire, you did good. The end. Yeah, good job, Solaire. Oh, he's not dead. There we go. I know what horror movie you're talking about, Bone, and I wish I didn't. Cool. I know exactly what movie you're talking about. If I wasn't so extremely overleveled, that fight would have been really, really fun. <laughs> I've learned to really enjoy the giant fights, even if they can be hard to manage sometimes. Like, even yesterday, fighting Calamite, even as he was, like, actively breaking, I still really enjoyed that fight. It feels so good to win a fight like that. Door. Now this is how you would normally get into Blight Town. We might as well go down it, because we gotta um, go get Kirk's stuff. From the Daughter of Chaos. Oh, he survived. He survived two attacks. Maybe I gotta be a little careful here. Poop! Yeah, thanks for the poop! More poop. The big poop boys, the poop brothers. Because there is actually a special mini boss down here. Oh my god, I'm getting toxic by the dart boy over here. See that? 
Did you see how this undead variant just did a jumping attack on me and it did not stagger me? That's how it's supposed to be. The random default undead variant is glitched. Does not work properly. There's way too much poise damage than it's supposed to. That's why it 100%s you with that stupid running attack. It's not supposed to. But it does. He's holding a man! Oh my god, the critically acclaimed Final Fantasy... Or the critically claim, acclaimed MMO Final Fantasy XIV had the yellow blight town pog. Holy shit, man. That's crazy. I want the sword. The funny sword. There's a funny sword over here. Knock me down. Knock me down. There we go. Got it. Fucking cunt. It even has two flavors of poison, just like the real Blight Town. Can I walk across this without falling to my death? Holy shit, I did it. Oh. Small red dogs. Humanity. Is there anywhere for me to even go from here? Why'd I come over here? Um, I don't want to fall now. <laughs> Way down below everything. All right, crossed it fine again. Creaky, wibbly, wobbly bridge moment. Where? I know that there's a sword here. Is it above? I think it's above. Yeah, I see the soul up there. That's where you get... I forget that... What it's called. It's like a longer... Katana. And the Uchi Katana. The Iato. I gotta get down to that guy. That's the mini boss.
big gross bug. Alright, can I kill it in like two hits? Ouch. I can't if I do this. Ouch. Shut up. Power within. Nice. The power within. The power, the power, the power within. The power, the power, the power within. The power within! Some SpongeBob. Oh, ladder. I got poisoned. I got poisoned again. Man, wouldn't it be fun? If we have another Blight Town in Elden Ring. In the DLC. I hope so. We have that whole Death Blight Swamp area. God, I can only hope. I can only hope and pray that it's that it's gonna be another Blight Town. I want another authentic Blight Town experience. Oh my god, it's just a crag spider. Get the piss out of me. Since having some debuff affects being poisoned but stronger seems lame in my opinion. Yeah. It's something. I mean, even Elden Ring has that. It's just they don't have two different names for it. There is a stronger version of poison. The wonder Poisson. Oh, I'm a wanderer. There we go. We made it to the bottom of Blight Town. We killed the big bug. Got the power within. I can go talk to Quilana. Oh, that was a three for one. And get Kirk's armor. I just had flashbacks and remembered that the big club people would always use in the Shrek builds are, is over here. I'm remembering so many videos of Shrek, people cosplaying Shrek in this game. Down here in the swamp and up in the Dark Root Basin. Poison Mist and Pyromancy Armor. Look at them holding those rocks. Nice rock. Sword in the butt.
Run out of pretty cool rock, you gotta admit. Up the butt. Great club. Moonlight beam. Give me your poop. Pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. And it's in great shape. No, she's not here. How do you get Koilana to spawn? I forget. It's a weird prerequisite, but I don't remember what it is. Oh well. I'm not doing a Pyromancy build this run, so it doesn't matter. Big Hat Logan was the NPC to talk to with an intelligence sorcerer build, so. Don't need Koilana. Don't need Rhea. Although I could go talk to Rhea. I need an egg vermifuge. Well, I'm down here. I gotta get a vermifuge. So let's see if I can. sister's babies. Damn. How come the spider has worm babies? I'm not gonna think about it. I've decided I'm not gonna think about it. Does a uh, spider have push pus? Does a uh, spider have push pus? Another classic. Are you in need already? If I get infected with the eggs, he'll give me a vermifuge. And the helm of thorns. Man. Kirk was a good guy. He didn't deserve it. Home of Kirk, Knight of Thorns, a notorious member of the Dark Race. A dense patch of thorns grows from its surface. It is a fitting item for the murderous Kirk, for by simply wearing it and rolling, one can damage enemies. What sword am I using? The Moonlight Sword. Moonlight Great Sword. Kirk didn't deserve it, man. Alright. I'm not mistaken, right? These egg guys can give egg vermifuge, right? Because I need to trade one to Snuggly the Crow in order to get my last dragon scale to get my Moonlight Greatsword to plus five. I'm one dragon scale short. And I could farm the drakes, but that's a really low drop chance. I was right. Alright. Hey kid, you practically look like a twig. Looks like you could really use some of my wares. How about this cutting edge potion created by the centuries leading tower mages? It's called protein. I hear it gives you uses lots of energy. What'd you say, kid? Oh man, whey protein. How can I say no? By the Lord! Shut the fuck up. No. The Dougie on. You left Rhea to die, you little bitch. Suffer. Let's go trade with Snuggly the Crow.
bap, bap, bap. Now when we load back in, it'll be a dragon scale. At least it should be. Now, was I supposed to do it in the other area? Was I supposed to do it here? That's the wrong nest! No! The nest I'm supposed to do is down there! That's the wrong nest. I'm thinking of the wrong game. It's Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 has the, the, the snuggly nest on the top of... Okay, at least I immediately got one. Dark Souls 3 has the crow nest on top of Firelink. That's what I'm fucking messing up. Ugh. Oops. If you can't teleport to... No, there's no teleport point for the end of the Asylum. I thought there was. Huh. Love this game, finish new game plus six or three hours. I've been playing this game continuously for 10 years. I have thousands of hours on every Dark Souls game. I love this game series. We're wrapping up all the loose ends. We're just about finished with this game and then we'll be moving on to Dark Souls 2. I just gotta go down, kill the four kings, get the last Lord Soul. And then we're good. But I'm gonna do all my loose ends first. Kill these guys so that they won't bother me. Here's the proper nest. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. You know, the name Snuggly the Crow it's a fan thing. If I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. Nothing in the game's files refers to this NPC as Snuggly the Crow. If I remember correctly, it's not even technically a crow. It's a raven. You. You. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me dragon scale. Thank you very much. If I remember correctly, the reason everyone calls them Snuggly the Crow is because in Demon Souls, there's Sparkly the Crow who asks for sparkly items. In this game, there is a bird that asks for warm and soft items. Instead of being sparkly, it's snuggly. Let's go to Andre. Have him upgrade my sword. Andre of a star eye. Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything forged? Yes, please. Let's max out the sword, baby. Nice. Don't get yourself killed. Neither, Neither of us, us want, want to see, to see you, you go, go hollow. hollow. True, Andre. You're the realist. 
God, I love Andre so much. All right, now we're gonna do something that hurts to do. We're gonna do it. Cause I'm gonna kill every boss. Got popcorn, chicken, and coffee. Ooh, that sounds so good. Stop it, you fucking glitched out pieces of shit. Even now they still hurt so much. Big lad. Honey, I'm home. Thou must return it whence thou came. This land is peaceful, its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not belong. I beg of thee, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. I love her too. She's my favorite. Oh, she's my favorite, the original waifu. <sighs> give me that tail. I expected as much from thee. Why does toward thine death? Where are her big footprints? Got it. Boom. NASCAR. Oh, I missed. Back to you, damn psychopath. I'm finishing up the world. All right. I'm finishing up the world. I said I'd be every boss in the game. Don't worry, she's still there in the normal playthrough. Plus her dying is not canon. I do love getting to see her. Okay. 
kill the rest. Your Priscilla. Our Priscilla. The body's still warm. We... God. It's not over yet. Kill the queen boobs. Yep. And dispelled the illusion. Alright. Alright, that's all done. I guess we can go to New Londa. How's it going, Plazy? Can't think of anything else to do. Happy New Year. It's a little late in the year to be saying that. <laughs> uh, pff, it's fine, Sunby. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, 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 fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Because now we can read her soul. Soul of Priscilla Crosby trapped inside the painted world of Ariamas. Do I have enough materials to make her scythe? I might. New Year in your country. Then Happy New Year, man. I loved her so much I had to kill her. Exactly. She understands. She is best girl. No, Priscilla understands, not you understand. Priscilla is a she. Priscilla understands, she knows. She knows I love her. She knows. Mm. What's that? Shiny, shiny. Yes. Give me that. I make weapons shiny. Okay. I had shiny, shiny. I make weapons shiny. Yes, you do. Combat soup. Hmm. Forge, I can. Strong, I am. Forge, he can. Strong, he am. Do I don't have any scythes. Can a halberd be upgraded into it? I think it can. Not scary, it's romantic. Exactly. It's romance, you don't understand. Great Sword of Artorias. I could make... A Great Sword of Artorias? Uh, do I? Do, it has to be a scythe, doesn't it? Let me look it up. Sorry, I don't know what true romance is. My bad. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Any plus ten halberd or whip. Okay. That means I have to go all the way back to Andre. Ah, uh, don't wanna. I don't wanna. I choose not to. All right. Well, let's go to New Londo. I can't think of any more loose ends. We killed the Blighttown Bug. We killed the Hellkite Drake. We beat Pro Crossbreed Priscilla. 
we beat, um, the gaping dragon. So now this is all that's left. Is New Londo. Then we'll, we'll have beaten every single boss in Dark Souls 1, and then we can move on to Dark Souls 2. I love this game so much. I already picked up Lachuk's armor, right? Yeah, I did. I wanna know what love is! Also, I told myself I was gonna go talk to Rhea. Oh, Frampt is sleeping. Wake up! No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. Fart. He's napping on the job. He's snoozing. Absolutely snoozing. E -P, the thing needs a bed, e big, e -P, sleepy. Needs a nap. Yep. Your quest line ended. I got the pendant. A simple pendant with no effect, even so, pleasant memories are crucial to surviving on arduous journeys. Rest in peace, Rhea. Just another NPC that doesn't get a happy ending. Anything forged. Don't get yourself. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go alone. Alright. Now that that's taken care of, can I go down to Where's the dragon? Stone dragon, there he is. I got so many bonfires now. These guys are busted ass hitbox.
Fuck you. Purging stones. I don't even know if Siegmeier is gonna be down here yet. Bleh. Down here yet. Voice cracked. Twinkling Titanite, I didn't know they dropped that. I wonder if I missed the trigger for the quest line or something. Did I never sit at this bonfire? I did, it's just not showing up on my list of bonfires I can teleport to. Okay. New Londo time. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now, we have a new problem. It's noisy, it snores, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Yes, it is. How's your <laughs> Extra swords. Do I have any... I do not have what I need. That's okay, there's some over here. Now the new Londo ruins. Transient curse. Cool. Now we're good. Okay, I gotta remember. There's a firekeeper soul on the right side down there. And I want it. Now I can kill ghosts for a couple minutes. Here it is. Ooh, 
camera, do not turn on me like that while I'm walking across a very thin path. Ugh. Make my heart jump up into my throat. Scary ghost. Ghosts. Another from soft staple. A classic. Dare I say. Look at those curses, fool. That is the average woman's response to seeing me. I will say that much. A blood curdling scream of terror, followed by immediate death. What did I guess I- what did I guess? What did I miss? I got more chicken? Mmm, chimkin. I'm fighting ghosts. That was a stream of pleasure? God, I can only hope. Yummy, yummy, chinkin. More transient curses. Let's go talk to the red lad. Hi, buddy. What's up? Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. Oh my god, look, it's the key to the seal. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. How about that? Hello there. What is it? The key to the seal is now in your hands. I will help you in any way possible. Give. New Londo was sacrificed to contain the Dark Wraiths. Mark my words. The Dark Wraiths are the enemies of man and any living thing that has a soul. They were never meant to roam again. New London. Okay, that's all he has to say. Thanks to the key. I'm gonna open the floodgates and release the thing you just told me is the most dangerous bit to mankind.
Ball goes. Curse bite ring. Bonk. Ah, I got grabbed. Bro grabbed me. Not cool. I did not consent. Green tight night shard. I know there's loot over here and I want it, so going for it. Oh, it's just humanity. Never mind. I thought it was an item. Why did I think it was an item? What item did I think was there? Hmm. I wonder what part of what game I'm mixing up. Rare Ring of Sacrifice. Okay, now we can pull the lever. Key to the seal. There we go. Now the new Londo is free. Is there loot up above? I can't remember. There was, it was on this side. Yeah. Cause this side is the Valley of the Drakes. If I follow that path going to the right, it'll go to that undead dragon that was before Blight Town. And if I go around that corner down there and go up, it'll go to Darkroot Forest. Next to where I killed the giant Hydra. Next to Havel. Pull lever. It all comes around. I got all the bodies, holy shit. Yeah, maybe the Dark Wraiths really are the enemy of man, huh? You missed. All just corpses everywhere. Still, the Dark Wraiths are really fucking cool. I love the Dark Wraiths. Bro's just kicking me. Not cool, man. 
throw stanky ass feet off me. Oh, big head boy. Is the shortcut over here open now, or do I have to open it myself? What did you just say about me? This is the great adventures of Phantom Kaijin. This is his story called, I alone receive infinite licks from the boss. What do you mean by that? What do you... I give up. <laughs> Very large ember. I don't think I even knew that that was here. Based Phantom Adventures? What do you mean based? I alone receive infinite licks. The lick part. From the moment you started typing to the moment you pressed enter. Another humanity. Open to interpretation. All right, wrong way. Come on then, Dark Wraith. Secret tunnel! out of range that first parry deep ends just like me small well some crack for the eye orbs I actually don't remember what loot's over here, so I'm gonna check it out. Oh, this just loops back around. There's no loot at all. No, oh. I remember clearing through this part of the game, listening to Creature Feature back in 2012. Holy shit, that's a memory.
I sent fly in. Let's quickly top off. I have five Estus flasks. That should be enough to kill the boss. Titanite chunk. I remember I could summon Beatrice yep I could but I'm not going to this boss is too much fun all right well I'm medium rolling for this fight I guess Okay, I think I'm ready. Uh, give me one second. Oh man, we're at the end, bro. After this bus, it's a straight shot. Be nice to my <laughs> Here we go. I have the right ring on, right? Yep, Covenant of Artorias. Okay. Let's go. The abyss. Now this is the true abyss. Oh. two hits off. Where's the next one at? There he is. I got grabbed. Ah, let me go! Bro gave me the Gok Gok 9000. Ah, he grabbed me again. I rolled, but it didn't count. Command grabs. He's just heal. He's taking my humanity from me. Bitch, stop stunning me. Moonlight beam. All right, one more. Free fire.
Victory achieved. Bequeath Lord Soul Shard. There we go. That's the last Lord Soul. Which means there's nothing left to do. Trying to think, is there any loose ends? Anything? Oh, really? Nothing at all. We've now cleared through the whole game. All right, give me a moment. I'm gonna go use the bathroom quick. I'll be RB. One, mo one moment. Eating with nothing. There's my whole bone. Look, got it down there. Random wall. Yeah, it's the bird. It's the crow. She's sleeping again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we can get really close to the bird. Pretty bird. Believe me, please. This is it. We've done everything. We've learned all the story. Quick recap it all. The age of the ancients. It was all gray and there were dragons and big old trees. Then fire happened and now there's people everywhere. Gwyn started the age of fire, gave the Lord Souls to all the different lords. And then when the fire started to fade, he used his... He, he, he relit it. And now everything's just falling apart because the age of fire is coming to an end. Fire's practically out. There's monsters everywhere. Witch of Izalith made demons in the bed of chaos. Nido was sleeping in a hole. Seath created crystal magic.
I think we've we've done everything, right? We rung the bells. We did Blight Town. We did the Berg. We did Anorlando. We killed all the bosses in Anorlando. Broke the uh, illusion to show that all the giants left a long time ago and that Gwendolyn's the only one left. Killed Gwendolyn. Then we went to Seath. Broke his crystal, killed him. Nit went to Nito, smacked him around. Went to the Bed of Chaos, destroyed it. Killed the Queen, or the Witch of Isolith. Uh, went to the Past. Saved Artorius from the Abyss. Defeated Manus. Defeated Calamite. All four of the Knights of Gwyn have had their stories wrap up. Then we came back. Defeated Sif. Reluctantly. Got the Covenant of Artorius. Went down to the Abyss, defeated the Four Lords, and now we're at the end. And I can't think of a single thing left to do. Which means... Wake up! No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? The beings... Yeah, 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 I know. Come on. Very well. Let's go down. Then, stay still for a moment. <laughs> Suddenly, that was not a good time to <laughs> say that sentence. <laughs> it's just like me for real, for real, as he's opening his mouth and pulling his head back, but to give me the Gok Gok 9000. When the giant snake head is so far, you end up in an upside down world. Alright, let's do it. A little late, Terran. You haven't missed much, but there's not much left to it. Congrats, you're here just in time to see me put the souls of the lords in the lord vessel. So you're here for the important part. All that we did was we went down into the abyss with the Ring of Artorias under New Londo. And we fought the four kings down here. <coughs> which was the last Lord Soul. We went and we fought a bunch of optional bosses. We killed the Hellkite Drake. We killed Crossbreed Priscilla. And we killed the Gaping Dragon. We fought some mini bosses. And now we're at the end. I love Priscilla. So coming back here, we talked to King Seeker Frampt. He gave us crazy head. That's right, that's one thing I forgot to do quick. <laughs> Did I miss the Gaping Dragon, another famous boss for being an example of Dark Souls' Eldritch stuff? Yes. You did miss the Gaping Dragon. Frampt has told me of you. That you have agreed to link the fire. I thank you sincerely. Finally, the curse of the undead will be lifted. And I can die human. I am powerless. But I will do all that I can. Aww. Please, save us all. I will. Please. She just gave me 20 Estus flasks. I didn't know she does that. I've never seen that interaction before. Holy shit, I am beefed up before 
going to the last boss. But yeah, we, uh... Now guillotine, take away the head, I'll give you. Yeah, we, we did kill the gaping dragon. It was pretty... Here, here's the thing, all the bosses that I've fought today have been optional side bosses, except for the four kings. And the four kings, in order to get the dark ending, you have to kill before even going to Anor Orlando. Or not to get the dark ending, to join the Dark Wraith Covenant. It, they're meant to be killed pretty early on. I just cakewalked through them. But there we go. I have to do it for the Firekeeper. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Very well. Then stay still for a moment. Take me down. Now the location of this is important. Directly underneath Firelink Shrine. Firelink Altar, which is the last area of the game. We put all of the souls in the Lord Vessel. And now we move on to the last area. These are the souls of Gwyn's Knights. That died when he relit the fire. That's why there are black knights. All of Gwyn's knights were silver and the black ones were burned by the flames. The kiln of the first flame. Aren't you like 120 seconds ago? Yes, but I wanted to go uh, upgrade my Estus Blast. This place is really cool. This is where the fire began. And this is where the Age of Fire was continued. But everything's been burnt to ashes now. That's why we have to relink the flame. But we've done everything. We escaped and made pilgrimage to Lordran. We rang the two bells of awakening and went to Anorlando. Defeated the fake Ornstein and the real Smo, and then dispelled the illusion in Anorlando, showing that all the undead or all the gods left. The only god that stayed behind was Gwendolyn. Everyone else left when the Age of Fire was coming to an end. Defeated Gwendolyn. Went to Seath's archives, defeated Seath the Scaleless and got his soul. Went to the uh, Tomb of the Giants, defeated Nido, got his soul. Went to Lost Isolith, killed a bunch of demons, quelled the Bed of Chaos and got the Witch of Isola's soul. Went to the past, saved Artorius and Sif from the Abyss, as well as Dusk. And defeated the primeval human, Manus. We got to see the ending of all four of the Knights of Gwyn's story. Hawkeye Go retires, Sierran, Stays by Artorius's grave until the day she dies. Got the Black Knight armor. Artorius is killed, defending Ulysseel. And the real Ornstein is somewhere. He's somewhere out there.
But here we are. Come on, Solaire. Together. Let's get you your very own son. I love this area, it's so fucking cool. Teamwork, baby! That was sick! Hell yeah, Solaire, that was awesome. Hey, and I got the Black Knight Great Axe. Teamwork. All right. The firekeeper gave me a lot of Estus flask buddies. A lot of Estus flasks. All right. The last boss of Dark Souls One. The very end of the game. Let's switch back to our actual ring. We're all good. But yeah, the Black Knight armor. Armor of the Black Knights who haunt Lord Ron. The knights followed Lord Gwyn when he departed to link the fire, but they were burned to ashes in the newly kindled flames, wandering the world as disembodied spirits ever after. Here we go. Partial parry. God damn it. Flin, flin, flan. Hey, you leave so long, you cunt. Oh shit, that hurts. Yep. Go get your son, buddy. The soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, contains an incredible power. Soul of the... Soul of the Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight and Cinder, who linked the first flame. Lord Gwyn bequeathed most of his power to the gods and burned as Cinder for the first flame. But even so, Lord Gwyn's soul is a powerful thing indeed. He's completely insane. He burned himself to link the fire. He sacrificed his soul. He's essentially hollow. And here it is. Now I get a choice. I can link the fire, or I can leave. And begin an age of dark. I decide.
There we go. Dark Souls 1. Curious about one thing the Maiden said. Why does continuing the Age of Fire allow her to die human? The Dark Sign is a product of the flame fading. Embers that burn into the bodies of humans and keep them from dying. That's why in the beginning you can see in like the intro cinematic, you can actually see the Fire Maiden like catching an ember and placing it on a corpse to bring it back to life. The dark sign is a curse. That curse breaks when the flame is not dwindling. Causes the first flame to damage things. Yes, it does. As, as the flame fades, shit starts falling apart. The very fabric of the world starts falling apart. The ashes start doing crazy things to people. And the abyss starts to grow. God, such a good game. Holy shit, it's such a good game. I love this theme also, this ending. This song is called Nameless Song. It's one of my favorite songs in the entire OST of all Dark Souls games. Dark Souls 2 tries to make their own version of it. I don't like it as much, but Dark Souls 3 version, 3's version of it is oh, peak. It is so good. The credits music for Dark Souls 3 is, you'll, you'll see it when we play it. But we did it. That puts a little more things into perspective. A renewed age of fire or an age of dark each have their own good results. Yes, but at the same time, you have to think about whether you can trust Darkstalker Kaith. There's a few things about Darkstalker Kaith that are really, really, really concerning. One thing is said by Hawkeye Go, and I'll replay the voice line if I have to. I don't know if you were here last night. I went and talked to Hawkeye Go one more time at the end of the stream, and he had a few things to say. He says something very important. Because if you talk to Darkstalker Kaith, he tells you, Flame is the problem. Flame is the problem. Uh, we have to put out the flame and bring about darkness so that things can be peaceful. Only then will an age of man finally start. The age of men, the age of humans. Yep, you had to sleep before the last thing last stream, yeah. So he that's what he tells us. That's what a lot of people used to take as, okay, lighting the fire is the bad ending because you get burned and everything's gonna go wrong again in the future eventually. But the dark ending is the good ending because everything ends and the fire goes out and that's it. That This, this was back before Dark Souls 2 or even the DLC for Dark Souls 1 came out. That's what the lore YouTubers were constantly saying. But what we now know is that the cycle will continue no matter what. If we start an age of man, someone else will light the fire who is not us. Someone else will show up, will defeat us, and will light the fire. Whether it's now, whether it's in 10 years, 100 years, 1,000 years, someone will relight the fire and a new age will begin no matter what we do. Meaning what we do is technically pointless, but technically not. But what Hawkeye yes, Go says indeed. is very important. Let me, let me tab out and actually play it for you. Because there are positives to an Age of Dark, yes, but it gets recontextualized by what he says. Lots of people talk about the Age of Darkening as if you destroy the first flame so it can't be linked ever again. That's not how that works, nah. 
You don't destroy the first flame. You let it die out until someone else comes along and puts souls in it to burn it. Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 do debunk that, yes. Both endings of Dark Souls 1 are canon because no matter which one you do, a new Age of Fire will start eventually. Alright. This is what Hawkeye Go says. Ah, hello there. What of Calamit? He is an ancient dragon. Skyward or no, he will not be put down easily. Dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly. But for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration. Pride. Hatred. I'm, I'm turning him up. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. At that twilight, cold thoughts return. In great waves of nostalgia. I suspect thou hast taken a gander at it. Yes. But the dark of the abyss, which swallowed poor Artorias, threatens to devour our entire land of Ulysseal. It seems that this dire fate is unavoidable, but seduced by a dark serpent or no, they awoke that thing themselves and drove it mad. One's demise is always one's own making. Faith is the reason Manus woke up. He's not he he he's got ulterior motives going on. He seduced the men of Ulysseal into waking up Manus, resulting in so many people dying. That has nothing to do with the first flame. That has nothing to do with an age of dark. He's not a good dude. And I remember the lore VTubers being so mad about that on like Reddit and shit when that first came out because they're like, what do you mean? But Kate is, Kate is supposed to be the benevolent good guy. He's the one that secretly wants everyone. He wants everyone to be happy. He wants everyone to be happy about stuff. The Dark Serpent is referring to Kate. Darkstalker Kate convinced Ulysseal to wake up and drive Manus mad, which is why the Abyss went so crazy. If he didn't do that, the Abyss wouldn't have gone nuts, Sartorius wouldn't have died, Ulysseal wouldn't have fallen, Gwyn might not have been as scared as he was, and he might not have been so hasty to relight the flame, but Gwyn was very afraid of the fire going out. He was so afraid of the fire going out that he lit the flame and gave his own life. Even after all of the gods left. This is New Game Plus now, by the way. I'm just gonna get the Firelink Shrine. Need the key. I still can't get over. That interaction with the Firekeeper was so cool. That really gave me like a I'm saving the fucking world moment kind of thing. 
That was cool. Sorry, Oscar, no time to explain. <laughs> That's Dark Souls 1. So you'll you'll see once we get into Dark Souls 2. Like, here, here's the thing though. I've only been streaming for two hours. I don't want to stop yet, but there's nothing else for me to do in Dark Souls 1. What should we do? Should we start Dark Souls 2? And just do the very beginning? Hi, Wolfwood. Did you do your mom? Got him. Good shit. Good damn, you guys. There we go. I hit the level I wanted to. We win. Hey, yo. Got off work just in time. Hell yeah. Uh, big stretch. Now you're gonna see in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just gonna let the game speak for itself, alright? I'm just gonna let the game speak for itself. Also, look how big the fire is. She cannot speak. Alright. One last thing. Out, you're right. You have some nerve. I may be crestfallen. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I think you've done me a favor. Me too. <laughs> I I had never seen getting 20 Estus flasks before. I never had that interaction with the firekeeper at the end of the game. After you get all the Lord Souls. I've never seen that. That was so cool. I guess it's because I always just kick Lotrek off the wall. She can't talk to me and tell me how she wants me to save her and save the world and link the fire if she can't talk, and she can only talk if I bring her back to life after Lotrek, so I guess that makes sense. Why I'd never see it then. That just goes to show you how much shit they have crammed in this game that you'll never see in like a hundred playthroughs. It's such a good game. There's so much to it. I love it. God, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, well. I need you guys to help me. I'm sorry. I'm soggy. We we Priscilla, my love. We I love Priscilla. I need to make a thumbnail then if we're gonna start Dark Souls 2. Uh what pose should I do for the thumbnail? I've started with each game. I like have a pose I do in the thumbnail and then I just change the background with each stream. That way each game is... Do a flip. It's not a pose. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, Sammy, but that, that's not a pose. 
Also, oh, I, I haven't gotten to show you this, uh, Taryn. You know how I said we were playing the remastered version of the game? I was wrong, I lied. We've been playing... We've been playing Prepare to Die Edition this whole time. I, I goofed up. I accidentally played the wrong one. So that explains a lot of the jank. That explains... Yeah, yeah, you saw Prepare to Die Edition in the end credits, yep. That explains everything. That explains all the jank, that explains why there's no full screen. I should have noticed it like 10 hours earlier. In my defense, I noticed it in the second stream of playing the game, okay? In my defense, we did blast through this game really fast. How's it going, Zane? But we, um, so we, we, we played, this was the original version, which I'm actually happy about. At first I was like, ah, oh, I should have been playing the other, but I played the original version of Demon Souls. Now I've played the original version of Dark Souls on, on, on this marathon. So it, it makes sense to play the original version instead of the newer version. Considering this has been a series of the very beginning of FromSoft all the way up to the end of Elden Ring before the Elden Ring DLC comes out, right? So I'm not going to do another full playthrough of Dark Souls, obviously, right now. Maybe in like another year and a half I'll do another one because I feel like playing the game again. But what I will do at a later date is I will try speedrunning the game for a stream. That could be a fun stream. Like a seven hour Dark Souls 1 speedrun. Could be a lot of fun. Where I don't try to slowly methodically clear through everything and my focus on, my focus is on beating the game as fast as I possibly can. See how quickly I can do it. Could be fun. That would give us a chance to see a lot of updated visuals in the remake. But that's... Man, we are blasting through these games. But this is this is the end of blasting through the games, guys. The rest of the games that FromSoft have, they're not short. Dark Souls 2 is like 45 hours long. Dark Souls 3 is like 45 hours long. I don't know how long Bloodborne is. I don't know how... Well, well the Demon Souls remake is probably going to be another four-hour stream. Or, or four-stream series. But this is why we're so focused on playing these games. We got to get all of these games done before the Elden Ring DLC comes out. And that's in two months. Two months. So, we're going to be jumping now to Dark Souls 2. Did we win? Yes, we did. We beat the game. We beat the Four Kings... We killed all the optional bosses. It is important to say that there is a canon playthrough of Dark Souls 1. Now I see you're on a deadline. Yep, and I've only been streaming for two hours. I don't want to stop streaming tonight. I don't want to stop streaming tonight. I want to play for at least another two, three hours. Because I don't work tomorrow. I want to play video games. Don't worry, Bloodborne will be long and you will be lost. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Good. We have a lot to do. And the DLC is creeping up on us. So we have to blast through these games. Dark Souls... I, I kind of blasted through this game. Because we've already done a playthrough of it on the channel. I just wanted to do a complete playthrough quick. We didn't take our sweet time checking all the lore. Holy shit, you guys. Welcome back. <laughs> Bones almost at 12 months. Got an early day tomorrow. Fucking Saturday work. Gross. But uh, there is a canon chosen undead in Dark Souls 1. And you will see it in Dark Souls 3. You will see. Because characters from Dark Souls 1 are alive in Dark Souls 3. 
and some of those characters are optional bosses, which means it is canon that the Chosen Undead did not kill them. As to which ending the Chosen Undead chooses, both endings are canon. Nice, too much cringe. But there are certain bosses that are canon not killed by the Chosen Undead in Dark Souls 1. Curious about your take, why does Framp join Cat in the Age of Dark Ending? I think the Primordial Serpents... That prank had you worried for a second? Nice. I think the Primordial Serpents follow whoever the Lord is, no matter who they are. But they have their own agendas, and they want people to do a certain thing. Kingseeker Framp wants a new Age of Fire. Darkstalker Kaith is a bitch and does not want fire and he wants suffering and he wants that like he you you can't tell me dark seeker cat is secretly the good guy he's literally the leader of the worst plague to befall humankind the dark wraiths monsters that suck your soul out and kill you there are positives to it and it is all a matter of perspective but he is a dark serpent that has now seduced two minimum high-scale societies to completely destroy themselves for literally nothing. He seduced the four kings and the entirety of New Londo with the dark wraiths to the point that it had to be flooded to keep them from spreading the abyss and destroying the world. And he seduced Ulysseel into waking up Manus and driving him crazy by poking him with sticks. So it is a matter of perspective, but it is my opinion that the Age of Fire is better. Alright. So let's see, how long was that playthrough? 14 hours. You want a look at my stats for the very end? Sure. Chaos Servant plus two, because they gave the humanity to Spider Lady. I was level 85. I started as a bandit, and I Moonlight Greatsworded. I cleared through the whole game with the Moonlight Greatsword, and uh, using the uh, Crystal Halberd. Because I realized that you can fucking buff crystal weapons. I didn't know you could buff crystal weapons. So this, this weapon right here, almost 700 AR. That's so much damage. This thing hits like a fucking truck. And it does thrusting damage, so it does counter damage too. That's pretty nuts, just how much damage it does. It's hard for how silly it looks. It's covered in covered in crystals. I love the weapon buffs of Dark Souls 1. I love Dark Moon Blade. I love I love Sunlight Blade. I love all of it. I wish Elden Ring didn't just completely dick over buff culture. Cuz weapon there's there's literally no point to buff weapons in Dark er, in Elden Ring. God, I love that game. In fact, I'm going to listen to Nameless Song again. Well, I get things ready. Okay, so... <laughs> nice. Uh, I need a thumbnail. What, what... <sighs> Give me one second. I gotta tap out of this to take a picture. Hold on, I gotta I gotta use my foot 
to press the screenshot button because I can't use my hand because I'm posing. There we go. Bop, bop, bop. Nobody would be crazy enough to build a boat out of glass. <laughs> nah! My channel! I have a BRB screen. I do have a BRB screen. I never use it. So you want rage or calm? Do you want righteous rage or gamer rage? Do you want serene calm or so done with this game calm? <laughs> yes, we're ending. So the stream will automatically transfer. Don't worry about it. You guys won't have to do anything. I just need to get Dark Souls to Scholar of the First Sin logo. There we go. That's because Catatonic Phantom is superior. Exactly, that's why I never use it. I know you want to see the Catatonic. Alright. Uh, Bunning options. Hours later. Drop screen. Drop lines. Dark Souls to Majula. Screenshot. I'm way too up. Okay, I got the thumbnail made. Big red balls? What? Eight hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time, Carl. I'm going as fast as I can, Patrick. Shut up. It takes a moment to make these things, you bastard. Big righteous boobies. Based. All right, export, export, export. There we go. All right, let's set this up. I'm really big. Close that, close that, 